There, there we, we go. Are, David. We're back. Every time it looks just like us. That, that picture on the screen over there looks like us, Gray. Grandma's Buffet with David and Gray. David, that's that got is, a ring to it. It does. Sounds like us. Grandma's Buffet with David and Gray, yeah. and we are here to make your day. Well, David, so far we have really enjoyed Grandma's Buffet, we and we've been very popular. We're hitting some people in West Virginia actually made right, a purchase guys. up there from us. We appreciate that, some of the, what, the Coca-Cola stuff. Me and Gray have an agenda here, guys. We're, we're going to use this to get nationwide. That's right. We're going to start here and go there. We're going there. Matter That's of right. fact, if any producers are out there, give you know you can give us a call. We'll give you our number, you know. Call, talk to you yeah, people. call our phone lines. They'll give you our personal phone numbers. That's right. That's right. Anyway, back to reality. <laughs> we've got some nice racing stuff here for you guys. And then at the end, we've got one real nice piece that mm -hmm. I'm just amazed with, this, uh, this, this last item we've got on this show. But uh, first, we're going to start out with our weight racing memorabilia here. To start we've with, got we've, got a, yeah, we've got a die cast, a car. Um, Number eight Budweiser, 2003 Monte Carlo. Right. Well, Dale Jr. was a very popular driver, I think, David. About every year he raced in the NASCAR circuit, right. not the boot. He was the most popular driver, and for good reason. Mm -hmm. He was good, but and he also he, had a yeah. famous father, David. That's right. He was he was a good race driver. He won he some races, and he, you know, he, he top ten finishes oh, yeah. all the time. He, sometimes he'd just miss it by a mishap or something at the end, but during the time er Earnhardt Jr. was there, he was a great race driver. Well, David, he was a third generation uh, race car driver. Had some big, big shoes to fill. He did right. pretty good, I thought. He never won a championship, got mm -hmm. close, but now his daddy did. His daddy did, and, and Dale Jr., actually, I can remember, guys, for those of you that are local, I've watched him race several times at the Myrtle Beach Speedway. Oh, yeah. He'd come in there, and he had a white car with no sponsors and it was my understanding his daddy told him he'd help him with the car Go he'd help him get sponsors. it ready yeah. but you're going to have to do the work and get you some and sponsors. he did he, and he did. did he finally did he finally in the next few years he was oh, yeah. he was right there in the in the lineup at daytona for That's the first right. race well let's get let's our, get a close up view of the box like you want to pop the we'll box a, on that one let them take a look at the seat. car yeah there's actually a car in there yes and it's got a see-through one no you have to take top off of that one to do the whole thing Look get it there. on camera number two there, Ethan, if you can. Let's get a shot of the car. 124 scale. Look at there, David. That looks like yeah. it's rolling out of Rockingham or Darlington or some <laughs> of those tracks, David. I can remember when it did and the, the crowd be standing oh, yeah. up. That's Hollering, right, guys. screaming. But 1995, David. For those of you that collect them, you know the price of these things, and this is another one price will sell. Uh, right. 1995, we'll ship it directly to you. We'll get it out of here today if at all possible. Depends on how the UPS man acts this afternoon. That's right. Forty-seven fifty-two for that Dale Jr. model car, David. 2003, the Monte mm -hmm. Carlo, but a beautiful car. You know, he switched later on to the 88 car, Right. but this was the red Budweiser car. Right. 1995, he, David. He put a lot of miles on those Budweiser cars, too. Yeah. Anyway, guys. Rolls and everything. <laughs> give us a call. Give us a call at the number 844641 PAWN Pond. And today you can actually talk with our owner, Kenny Barnes. He's manning the phones back there with some other guys, and you will be talking to someone with some knowledge. Oh, yeah. We're not, we don't have an answering service here, guys. You're going to talk to real people, and uh, most of them can speak English. That's a, they what we got here. You know what that is. Playing cards? Playing cards. And Dale who? Dale Earnhardt So more Sanger. Earnhardt. Yeah. Now this, the father, of course, of the first one we're showing, this is the right. black number three. Yeah. David, what a car it was, the it Monte was Carlo. But nice. The Intimidator is what it was. He would That's do it. that. And it was. Guys, this come, it's a set of playing cards, two decks. One of them is actually unopened. One of them has been opened. Right. And maybe used, maybe not. The cards look new, but the deck has been opened. The other is still in the plastic. But you have two decks of playing cards. Again, the price will sell these. $11.95 so. shipped directly to you. Have the tin and have the original box there. Let me get a shot of Ethan there with those cards, David. Like I said, some of them are not opened. A lot of people are superstitious mm -hmm. when it comes to playing yeah. cards. This you can actually see open. the glare on the plastic on oh, one, yeah. and you can see the glare on Dale's face on the other one. Dale, he, uh, Dale, uh -huh. Dale, 
He actually had a look about him, the mustache and those glasses. If you notice, you could not see his eyes. He was the intimidator. He did that on reason, David. He didn't want you to see his eyes. He wanted you to leave a little bit, you know? That's right. <laughs> Guys, but, uh, these were actually made back in the year 2000. 1195, 4751, I think, David. I couldn't see the screen there 4751 <laughs> is our number. Call and talk to these guys. Like we say, if you don't like the price you see, make them an offer. This is the first time showing for some of these things, so you may have to wait to get a lower price, but give it a try. Give it a try. Give us a call, 1-8-641-844-641-PON. pond we would be glad to talk to you. Another Dale Earnhardt commemorative here guys we've got the two die cast cars in the uh it's the looney tune car, i don't know David. what the me and you. looney tune yeah i don't know what well, the scale the is but it's kind of like the <laughs> kind of like the matchbox size let's get them where they can actually see these cars that's the tasmanian devil on that one David. tasmanian devil looney tunes on one and the other's a good wrench put them right car. here drive them right here in this here, hand. take take the whole thing over All there right. with you we'll nice put them right here david Let's if we can get a see. shot of that. Number three GM, good wrench service. Look, David, that looks like they're in the Limited infield, edition. lined up, fixing to go race. That's right. Another one from the year 2000. Yeah. These things are already almost 20 years old. Right. All this stuff's getting old. Well, 995, David, 4756 here on PSN. Give they us a call. They look brand new, off. guys. Yep. Another one to price will sell, 995. It's a no-brainer. Give us a call. We'll ship it to you. That's right. Um, these things here are out here to sell today. We're not, uh, we're not planning on making a museum out of this NASCAR stuff. It, it's priced to go, so give us a call for less than 10 bucks. We can put this in your collection. Nine ninety five, David, everybody's budget. I know Father's Day is coming up, Mother's Day. Right. And either mother, mother or father, Nine ninety five, David. That's we could help you out here on PSN with your Mother's Day and Father's mm. Day gifts, anniversary, add, anything. Add to your collection, guys. That's right. Add to your collections. But nice item, especially for nine ninety five. The tin's nice too, guys. Got nice artwork on there. The Tasmanian Devil and the Intimidator, both on the lid. And uh, next, we got a couple of things for the guys that like hat pins. Right. Well, they, they're very popular at the races. The ones I attend, the guys would buy the event pins, right. also these, and they would put them on their hats and they would show their loyalty for their driver. David, back then you had one driver. Everybody now pulls for this one or that one. You had right. one guy and one guy only. And one, that was your man, yeah. And you could tell there were some drivers that everybody liked. Or disliked. But you had one driver that usually was your driver and you had the, you had the hat, you had the jacket, um, you know, and people would get angry and fight over them. David, I've seen them throw the beer throw cans, the beer bottles. They'd throw each other at people. That's I'm right. Telling you, especially in Darlington. That's when NASCAR was NASCAR. They got out and raced. Well, it went PG. That's right. Went PG. Went from R to PG, yeah. I guess, didn't it? That's right. Anyway, two, a set of pins, guys, for twelve ninety five. lapel pins or hat pins, whichever you'd like to use them for. The number three with the Dale Earnhardt signature, that's a pure pewter pen. I might want that. to get a close up of that. of that one. Let's see if we can get that. That one's there. solid pewter, it says on there. It is solid pewter. Mm -hmm. it says it right on the front. Nice look size for a hat. It's not overbearing if you wanted it on there. It's not right. going to be something look like a badge or anything. Right. $12.95, David. Forty-seven fifty is our item number for that. The other one here is nice an enamel item. picture of Dale. Same thing, 2000, Dale Earnhardt number two edition of the Pinhead Collection. Um, year 2000, they made six of these. They made Dale Earnhardt, Dale Jr., Tony Stewart, Bobby Labonte. I don't know who the other two were, but they had all six of these drivers in the year 2000. Right. But nice item nice there, items. David. For, for the price, twelve ninety five. some history there. I mean, of course, he mm -hmm. left us the wreck at Daytona. Oh, uh, was it 2001? Give Seems us a like call. So we'll ship now. it to you. It's yeah. amazing that these things were actually made before his death. Right. After his death, racing changed, guys, but his, his memorabilia, if you remember, just after the wreck, it was everywhere, people were David. buying everything, buying it up. Well, I still went to a lot of races then, David. Uh, he actually, they had it. the black number three car still coming to the races. Right. They had his truck. Right. What you got left, anyway, there, David? Guys, this is something, this is neat. We've got a 1964 Life magazine that was from March the 6th. This was a month after Cassius Clay had beat Sonny Liston for the World, for the heavyweight, World championship. heavyweight Championship. 
And back in February, I think it was February 22nd or so, um, he actually, well, it was February 25th, 1964, Cassius Clay beat Sonny Liston, became the world champion at 22 years old. All right. And all of you know, from there on, he had a career as Muhammad Ali. This thing has got a lot. Let me just breeze right quick, and then I'm going to let Gray show you a picture on camera, too, of the Well, David, I can remember Life pictures. Magazine. Yeah. It just had whatever was going on in that era. It had color pictures of it. And, y'all, this was the Internet of the time. But Life Magazine, everybody, David, I say over yeah. 30 years old knows what it is. Life let Magazine. Get, let me get just a few highlights off the table of contents on this one, guys, because the price is going to sell it again. This thing's $14.95, 15 bucks for a Life Magazine from 1964, and we're going to ship it to you. Clay defeats Listman, Heroism at Sea, Coast Guard Rescue, Mexico-U.S. Summit Meeting, Nuclear Way to Deed Canal, just the Queen Elizabeth II starting out the, uh, the new ship. A lot of great stuff in this from 1964, guys. A lot of history back in the 60s. Oh, yeah. Good show. Early 60s. I'm going I'm to have to get Ethan there. You can show that 1495, 47.53, David, but nice eyes. Call item. us. Call Give us, us a because call. we're getting run off of the screen Let's here. Let's get a shot of that before we go, David. Well, that, that is a nice little light. It's in good shape right. for something that old. That thing's older than me, David. Mm -hmm. I was born in the 70s. 1495, 4753, David. He said we're that. done. We're all washed up. We're Hand washed up. Back. Okay. Yeah. Let's talk to the people one more time before we go. Call on these things, guys. Make an offer. If you see something you like, give us a call. One of a kind items. The Jewelers Vault's coming up with Gray and Alma. I mean, no, with Alma and Chad. Alma and Chad. I'm Gray, you're David. You're Gray, I'm David. We'll be back next week. Hang on for some more stuff, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. Goodbye.